was in WHO, we really tried to make things clear. Many people have a very good understanding now of our subtypes, like uh, micropapillary carcinoma, acid carcinoma. So all these subtypes are considered as high-grade disease now. And we also know that sub subtypes really have, uh, for example, FGFR3 mutations and so on. So uh, like the large nested variant, which has of course to be recognized, which is pretty new, but not so new. So people will recognize and do ref in a reflective manner, probably some testing. Um, of course, from the surgical pathology point of view, we have to give a grade, we have to give stage, the subtypes, uh, whether there's lymphovascular invasion, whether there's carcinoma inside, whether it's unifocal, multifocal. So this is pretty cheap, this is pretty quick, and this is pretty precise. And then, of course, there comes the molecular part, which is not 100% overlapping with surgical pathology, unluckily, but I think it is something which should go hand in hand together uh, with the pathologist, the surgical pathologist saying, well, now we have a surgical pathology diagnosis and now with the molecular, we will refine the whole diagnosis and try to see whether this or this treatment is a little bit better. So I think this is really something we should not work one on the other and, and the other on the other side. We really have to talk, talk together, to work together. Um, these kind of molecular tumor boards are getting increasingly more frequent now in the big structure. So I think this is really something interesting to come up.